so far my favorite videos have been the street photography videos ladies and gentlemen we're hanging out in beacon new york that's what's behind me i have my sony a6400 here with me i'm gonna pair it today with a 1.8 50. This is a perfect lens on an APS-C for street photography and that's exactly what we're gonna do. As always you'll be right here with me so let's go see what kind of photos we can get in Beacon, New York. Oh. Look at this guy. Wow beast mode. So I'm not from the area like I mean I'm cl I don't live here but I have a lot of friends that live here. Oh, we can, we can use the wall too. That would be kind of cool. Let's see if we can do that. I have some friends that live here and I visit them semi-often. In fact, I used to hang out here kind of a lot, I would say, and I've never seen this. Cool. So what's the plan you say, huh? You say, Tom, what are we doing in Beacon, New York? Why are you over here walking around? Well, we got a lot of stuff on the, on the agenda for you today, folks. A lot of stuff. First and foremost, let's take this cool picture right here. Can you see that? My fingers are kind of getting cold. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this Beacon Barkery. That's a cute little puppy right there. There's birdies everywhere, look at this. Now this is gonna be pretty difficult with the 75 mil, but you know what? Maybe I caught some, they're way over there. Do you see them? They're way out there in the trees. Let's see if we can catch them. Is that what the M240 looks like? I mean, not bad, that's a pretty cool car. It's pretty. I don't know. I always thought they looked kind of cool. Let's take a shot of it. Move. Now the question is, is this a manual? Ah, uh, automatic. No bueno. So ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to Beacon, New York. Nice. On this chilly, chilly Friday. So it's quite cold. It's like 34 degrees. In fact, I got my new gloves on today from PGY Tech. This is the same company that, ha that like makes my book bag, which by the way, I love. So I decided to try out the gloves. You can like flip the fingers out. They're photography gloves. And they have the 3M Dinsulate, which is supposed to keep you know, your hands warmer. I don't know. I'll let you know as we are, uh, as we're moving that way. Which, by the way, that way is Main Street. We're walking west. Main Street and Beacon is supposed to be the liveliest place in the Hudson Valley. Now, currently, it's a little cold for people to be lively. <laughs> but normally in the summer, people come up from like New York. It's only like an hour and a half on Metro North. So they come up, they hang out here. There's like shops. I'll tell you all about this place as we're walking back. But we have two goals here today, two. Number one, we're gonna get all the way to the West End of Main Street. And we're gonna take a picture of Beacon Falls. It's a really cool, pretty waterfall. But, it, and I, I actually have a, I have a video where I'm reviewing this place, Beacon. Uh, I'll pl plug that for you up top if you wanna see the falls in the summer. But in the winter, they kind of almost freeze. And I heard that there is a, uh, like a, a wood, piece of wood or something like that, that's like lodged and fell over and it's freezing in the middle of the, of the falls. I don't know what's going on, but I have some friends that live around here. So they told me to come check it out. And that is what we're doing today, ladies and gentlemen. That's goal number one, to go take uh, pictures of the falls, check it out. And maybe, maybe even set up a little time lapse with this beast right here. That's right, a time lapse with a 55 or 50 millimeter on a APS-C. Wish me luck. Number two, number two, the second thing we're doing 
is we're also walking over because somewhere over that way at the end there that's a loud car let's just give it a second here huh? but somewhere at the end over there west end of main street there is a dummy light now you would say tom what is wrong with you why are we walking towards the dummy light and i'll tell you because i didn't know this but apparently there are only two or three dummy life dummy lights left in the united states that's it only three and all three of them are in new york state and the third one is actually broken or something like that in fact the last few was it like a couple of weeks ago i heard that someone uh, there's like a tractor trailer that went over and toppled and broke it down so really there's only two dummy life left left in the whole of the united states one of them is somewhere in new york and the other one we're walking towards now and while we're walking i'm also gonna tell you about beacon and we're gonna talk about the sony a6400 paired with the 1.8 50 millimeter this lens is absolutely amazing i call this my little beast what i love about this lens besides the fact that it has oss it's good for pictures it's good for video i love that it's small look at this look at this lens let me cross the street so i don't get run over no i'll, I'll let you look at it by the way over here chocolates they make cho this is the yeah this is the alps do you see that let me switch to the camera this is the alps chocolate store Alp, alps hudson valley chocolate store wow look you could see chocolate can you see chocolates inside yes i have to walk away this is bad i have to admit ladies and gentlemen i'm a chocoholic i love chocolate <laughs> and this this is like oh i have to keep walking but if you wanted to check it out it's uh, alpsweetshop.com oh a nature plant nursery and yeah, a little cold i was about to say what kind of plants did they have here um hi hi kitty Hey kitty, what is this? Bean Cat Cafe. Huh. <laughs> Look at the kitty. Good you. Isn't it cute? Oh, the kitty left. Look at this. So this is, what is this called? And this is Bean Cat Cafe. It's a cat lounge and a coffee shop. Walk-ins are welcome and book ahead. So if you want to check that out, it's beancatcafe.com. Apparently you can bring your cat, have coffee, and, or, uh, that's kind of interesting. Okay, so if you ever beacon, bring your cat with you. They have their own cafe. And I mean, I love coffee, so I don't have a cat. But if I did, I'd probably bring it here. Although, I don't know, do cats like to like leave the house, you know, and just like go out for rides and stuff? I'm not a hundred on that, I don't know. Take a picture of this once people move. I think this is like the only, like I've been coming here for a while, right? Since I was a kid, like I said, hanging out with some of my friends. Um, and I remember this diner. This is like the only place that I still remember and it's around here. Most of the other places are changed and gone, but this diner right there, that's been around for a while. I remember it. I remember way back at 2 a.m. one time when I was, uh, a little drunk with my friends, you know, you know, we came over here and I had the, 
a burger, I had french fries, I had pickles, I had a soda. It was one of those quite essential, you know, you're drunk and you need something at 2 a.m. and then you're gonna feel bad about it the next day. That was it. That was it, ladies and gents. But you know what? We'll take a picture of this dino on the way back when we cross the street on the other side. Another reason that you should go and check out my other video of Beacon is because I actually climbed that. And if you look all the way to the top over there, way up there, that is the summit at Mount Beacon. It provides the absolute most amazing views of the Hudson Valley. If you want to see the valley, it's great. You can see all of the bridges. I mean, it's not easy. It's definitely a hike. But if you go up there and then from the, from the summit, you can actually climb, continue climbing in about 45 more minutes up you will see the, the fire tower, which is way up at the top. Do you see that? Way at the top there? That's the fire tower. So once you climb up to the summit of uh, Mount Beacon, you can get to the fire tower. And yeah, the views are insane. You should definitely go check out the video. I'll show you because that's where I went. All right, so dummy light, and then we'll go to the falls. And apparently, like I said, at the falls, we have this log that fell over or something like that, and it looks awesome, and I gotta check it out, I was told. In fact, I even brought my second camera with me. That's right. I brought another camera that I will be testing out in the next video, most likely. It's a new one, I'll tell you about that later, because here is the dummy light. Folks, you're witnessing the last of its kind. Well, the second to last of its kind in the United States. There are no more dummy lights. And this is the only one. That is absolutely wild. Let's take some pictures of the second to last dummy light. There's two, that's it? There's only two left in the US? And both of them are, and both of them right here in the United, in, in, in New York, huh? Look at this. Now, I'm risking getting hit by cars over here. But since it's the second to last, I gotta do it. Actually, there's not really anybody around, which is kind of crazy. That never happens. Let me, uh, let me just not fall. Hoo -ah, hoo -ah, hoo -ah. All right, are you ready? Are you ready? Look at that. Wow. There right, we go. Bang. So It'd be a good time lapse here too. Holy mama, it's cold. It'd be a really good time lapse. Maybe like, like that? Yeah, actually I could set it up right here. Let's do that. Let's do that. So, you come down here and basically go for a swim if you like. There's the Beacon Falls on the other side. If you go over Oh, I gotta be careful. Look. Oh. But if you go over to the roundhouse, you can walk across the walkway over there, the pathway, and then walk out this way and come to the other side of the falls, which are right over there. So it must have flown. I've flown. <laughs> it, it, must, it must have drifted all the way, got all the way perfectly in the middle here, and plopped down right here. And being that it's cold right now, look, it's right there in the middle freezing that is wild it looks so pretty what do you think I wonder if I could set up the camera like that maybe on this thing I could like gorilla pot it have it sit like this and then we could do it I don't know let's try it
Hey there folks, Future Tom here. I wanted to stop by for a second and talk about how I absolutely forgot my ND and my CPL filters on this trip right here. Now, CPL ND filters, as many of you know, if you put them on your camera, it allows you to slow down your shutter speed, which allows you to create a really cool long exposure effect, specifically on water, like a waterfall. This is something that I definitely should have brought with me, but not to worry, I never give up and I never surrender. Three days later, I went back to the same waterfall, both with my 6400 and my FX3, ND filters and CPL filters at hand, and I shot that same waterfall to show you what this long exposure looks like. So let's roll the 6400 long exposure waterfall time lapse. Now let's take a look, me freezing my behind off, setting this all up three days later. So uh, what are you doing on your Sunday, huh? I'm hanging out in Beacon. It's currently 2 p.m., 20 degrees, and I'm freezing my behind off. You wanna see what I'm doing? Let me show you. Now finally, let's take a look at the bonus footage of the FX3. I got a really nice, this is a really, really cool time lapse over here. The FX3, it's a little bit off to the corner. And of course I have the 28 to 75 G2 Tamron 2.8 lens on that. So let's see what that looks like. Once again, my apologies for interjecting from the future, but I needed to show you these. These are really cool. Back to the video. So what'd you think? What was the time lapse worth? The hour of freezing? <laughs> huh? I love doing time lapses. It doesn't really matter with what lens, but we should come back here with a wide angle. I have a 10 to 18. It's an F4. Still a really nice lens. It also has OSS. We should bring it back here. Let me get off this so it's not bouncy for you. We should bring it back here and then see if we can capture the entire falls and do like a, like a cool with like an ND filter and maybe a CPL filter. What do you think? You think that would look cool? Come back here with a wide lens, capture the falls in all their glory? I think so. All right, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed this one. We did a lot of stuff. We accomplished lots of pictures, a time lapse. We talked about Beacon. I froze my behind off. Oh my God, it's cold. Oh. Please, thank you for the love of God, stop. All right, so yeah, like I was saying, it was a good time. If you enjoyed it, make sure to slap the like button on this video, subscribe, and make sure to turn on the bell to see a lot more because like I said we got the FX3 I got a whole bunch of more lenses for the 6400 we're gonna do lots of different photography videos and a lot more thanks so much for watching see you in the next one